This video will walk you through setting up and operating the Kangaroo Omni Entral Feeding Pump, including loading a feeding set, turning on night mode, reviewing feeding history, and more. Please refer to your Kangaroo Omni Entral Feeding Pump instructions for use for a complete list of your pump's operations, features, and warnings. Charging the Kangaroo Omni Entral Feeding Pump. Before you begin using the pump, you will need to be sure it is fully charged or connected to a power supply. To begin, plug the power adapter into the power adapter port on the back of the pump. Plug the other end of the power adapter into a nearby electrical outlet. Once plugged in, confirm the green power indicator light is on in the bottom right of the pump to ensure the Kangaroo Omni Entral Feeding Pump is receiving power. Before first use, charge the Kangaroo Omni Entral Feeding Pump for a minimum of 12 hours. Attaching the Kangaroo Omni Entral Feeding Pump to the pull clamp provided with the pump. The Kangaroo Omni Entral Feeding Pump can be attached to a pole in a horizontal or vertical position using the pull clamp included with the pump. Using the screw provided, attach the pull clamp to the back of the pump. Be sure to tighten the screw. To attach the pole clamp and the Kangaroo Omni Entral Feeding Pump to the IV pole, place the inside elbow clamp against the IV pole. Tighten the knob so the pump does not slide down the pole. Preparing the Kangaroo Omni Entral Feeding Pump for feeding. To begin, press the power button centered below the pump screen to turn on the pump. The prior settings screen will appear. Settings from the pump's previous use are retained. To keep the settings from the previous feeding, press Keep Settings. Otherwise, press Clear Settings. From there, you will see the Load Set screen. Follow the animated instructions on the screen to load the cassette. You can do so by sliding the bottom pegs of the cassette up into the slots, then locking the top into place. You will hear a click when the cassette has been installed correctly. The Set Loaded screen will also confirm that the pump has correctly identified the feeding set. The colors of the cassettes are different based on feeding mode. A clear cassette is for feed only. A blue cassette is for feed and flush. A green cassette is for thick formula. Be sure to hang the prepared bag or pre-filled container so the starting volume of fluid is 10 inches or 25.4 centimeters above the top of the pump as shown. On this screen, you can adjust rate, adjust flush if applicable, skip prime, or prime. You can also press the More Options button on this screen. Accessing more options of the Kangaroo Omni Entral Feeding Pump. From the set loaded screen, press More Options. On the More Options screen, you can clear total volumes, view history, enable intermittent mode, turn on or off feed complete audio, adjust audio volume, and adjust brightness. Use the arrow keys to highlight the feature you want to activate. Then press the select button to activate the highlighted feature. Clear total volume. Resets the feeding and flushing counters to zero. Adjust audio volume. Sets the desired volume level for all alarms and notifications. Please note the audio volume cannot be muted. Adjust brightness. Adjust the brightness of the display backlight. Feed complete audio. Provides audible notification when feeding is complete. It can be turned off to avoid waking patients during nighttime feedings. Intermittent mode. Delivers a fixed volume of nutrition to the patient. The Kangaroo Omni Entral Feeding Pump can be configured to deliver a single feed or multiple feeds at fixed intervals. The pump is initially set to deliver in continuous mode, a feeding mode where the patient is fed continuously at a prescribed flow rate. To learn how to enable intermittent mode, refer to the adjusting rate of the Kangaroo Omni Entral Feeding Pump video. View history. Retrieves pump history for the last 30 days and is viewable in hours or days. Press the Select button to activate the highlighted feature. You can press the View Hours or the View Days button to retrieve the information. Press Back to return to more options. Then press Done to return to the set-loaded screen. 
priming the Kangaroo Omni Entral Feeding Pump for feeding. Before beginning, note that a patient must not be connected to the pump when priming occurs. To prime the feeding set, fill the bag with formula or connect to a pre-filled container. From the set loaded screen, press the prime button to continue. Select Auto Prime to automatically prime the feeding set or feed and flush set. The pump will show a progress bar indicating the automatic prime is in process. Wait for the priming to complete. Press and hold the prime feed button until the enteral fluid reaches the end of the feeding set. To continue, press Done. If desired, manual priming is another option. To do so, fill the bag with formula or connect to a pre-filled container. Note that a patient must not be connected to the pump when priming occurs. Press Manual Prime. If you are using a feed and flush set like the one shown here, you can also manually prime the flush set. To do so, press and hold the prime flush until the water reaches the end of the tubing. Press and hold the prime feed button until the enteral fluid reaches the end of the feeding set. Press done when complete. When the pump is primed, the ready to feed screen will appear. For continuous feeding, press the adjust rate button. Press the plus and minus buttons to increase or decrease the rate to be delivered. Push and hold on either the plus or minus buttons to accelerate the numbers. Press OK when desired rate has been selected to return to the ready to feed screen. For intermittent feeding, press more options on the ready to feed screen. Intermittent mode delivers a fixed volume of nutrition to the patient. The Kangaroo Omni Enteral Feeding Pump can be configured to deliver a single feed or multiple feeds at fixed intervals. Press the down arrow until intermittent mode is highlighted, then press the select button. On or off will be displayed to indicate if intermittent mode is turned on. Press done to continue. The ready to feed screen will appear. Press the adjust feed button. From here, you can choose to adjust rate, adjust number feeds, and adjust volume. Press the adjust rate button to adjust the feed rate. Press the plus and minus buttons to set the rate to be delivered. Press OK to save the settings and return to the adjust feed screen. Press the adjust number feeds button to adjust the number of feeds to be delivered. Press the plus and minus buttons to set the number of feeds to be delivered. Press OK to save settings and return to the adjust feeds screen. If the selected number feeds is greater than one, an adjust interval button will appear on the adjust feed screen. This will determine how many hours between the feeds. Press the adjust interval button to adjust the interval between feeds to be delivered. Press the plus and minus buttons to set the interval between feeds in hours. Press OK to go back to the Adjust Feed screen. Press the Adjust Volume button to adjust how much feed is delivered. Press the plus and minus buttons to set the volume of feed to be delivered. Press OK to go back to the Adjust Feed screen. Press Done to go back to the Ready to Feed screen. If applicable, you can adjust flush. Press Adjust Flush, then Adjust Volume. Press the plus and minus buttons to input the desired flush volume. Press OK to confirm the flush volume and return to the Adjust Flush screen. Press the Adjust Interval button. Press the plus and minus buttons to input the desired time interval. Press OK to confirm the flush volume and return to the Adjust Flush screen. Press Done to confirm the time interval and return to the Ready to Feed screen. Begin feeding with the Kangaroo Omni Entral Feeding Pump. Press Start to begin feeding. A screen with an animated black droplet means the feeding is in progress. To change the rate or feed setting once feeding has started, press Stop. Adjust the pump as needed, then press Start to begin feeding again. When the feeding has ended, the Feed Complete screen will appear with a green check mark. Press Done to clear the notification.
Additional options are available while feeding is in progress with the Kangaroo Omni Entral Feeding Pump. To stop feeding, press the stop button at any time. If using a feed and flush set, the pump can immediately perform a flush while feeding is in progress. To do so, press flush now. Press the plus and minus buttons to input the desired flush volume. Press start to begin the flush. A screen with an animated blue droplet will appear. This means the flush is in progress. The pump will automatically start feeding again once the flush is complete. To pause feeding, use the timed pause feature to pause the pump between 5 and 240 minutes. To do this, press the timed pause button. The default pause is 5 minutes. To increase the duration, press adjust duration. Press the plus and minus buttons to select the new duration. Press OK to confirm the desired pause time. The pump will automatically go back to feeding once the timed pause is complete. To end timed pause early, press Resume to immediately resume feeding. You may also lock the input screen of the pump to prevent accidental button presses during portable use. To lock the input screen, press and hold the lock screen button for 5 seconds when the pump is in use. A lock symbol will appear once the screen has been locked and the buttons will be disabled. To unlock the input screen, press and hold the unlock screen button for 5 seconds. The lock symbol will disappear once the screen has been unlocked and the buttons will be re-enabled. Please see the Kangaroo Omni Entral Feeding Pump Instructions for Use for complete cautions, instructions, and appropriate cleaning solutions. It is recommended that the pump be cleaned after each feeding set use to prevent bacterial contamination. Failure to clean the pump can interfere with the function of the pump rotor, which can increase the occurrence of errors and warning alarms. Always clean and disinfect the Kangaroo Omni Entral feeding pump after each patient use when the pump is being used for multiple patients to prevent the spread of bacteria, viruses, and other germs between patients. To clean the pump housing, clean the outside surface with a damp cloth or sponge. For difficult to clean areas, it is permissible to wash the pump under running water. Avoid submerging the pump or washing with high-pressure nozzles. To disinfect the Kangaroo Omni Entral Feeding Pump, use a wetted cloth to apply a 10% bleach to water mixture. The power adapter should not be cleaned unless soiling is observed. If cleaning is necessary, unplug from the outlet and wipe the exterior surfaces of the wall plug with a cloth dampened with isopropyl alcohol. The night mode feature reduces screen brightness by changing the screen from full color display to black and orange, which is especially useful in minimizing disruption for patients who are feeding during the night. To activate night mode, press the button that has a sun and moon on it, located at the top right above the pump screen. To turn off night mode, press the same button again. Note. This screen will only appear if interruption monitor is enabled in the biotech menu and intermittent feeding mode is disabled. If a continuous feeding regimen has been configured, interruption monitor tracks the amount of feed and hydration not delivered to a patient. It displays the amount of nutrition missed when the pump has been turned off. If interruption monitor is enabled, a notice screen will be displayed if the pump has been stopped, turned off, or flushing for longer than 30 minutes. It will show the interrupted time and feed missed volume on the screen. These totals will continue to accumulate until cleared by the user or the programmed feed rate is changed. LED lights on the upper right of the pump indicate the pump's status. A solid green light indicates the pump is running. A blinking green light indicates the pump is ready for operation, but not feeding. A solid yellow light indicates an informational notice. A blinking yellow light indicates a caution. A blinking red light indicates a critical warning. For information on specific alarms, consult your Kangaroo Omni Entral Feeding Pump instructions for use, 
the Kangaroo Omni Entral Feeding Pump troubleshooting videos, or contact customer service if you need additional information. Thank you for viewing the Kangaroo Omni Entral Feeding Pump training video. If you have questions, please visit mykangarooLearning.com or contact your sales representative. Kangaroo Omni, the future of enteral feeding.